So, Megsy, what are a few nicknames you've earned over the years um, playing football? Well, you give me the nicknames that you think, and then I will uh, I'll explain them. Uh, okay, Megsy, that's the, what you're known for mostly. Where, where, where did that come from? Yeah, well, that's a question that's come up a lot, but uh, Megsy was given to me when I was around 12 years old from my coach, uh, Ian Married, at, the sta- at that time. Basically, he was handing out uh, nicknames and... Mine was because I think he thought I looked like ginger megs, and um, a lot of people thought it was because I was good at giving nutmegs or receiving nutmegs, but... Um, it, it oh, probably <laughs> receiving, yeah. <laughs> Those giraffe <laughs> legs of yours, eh? <laughs> Not from you anyway, mate, but um, yeah, and basically just stuck, just stuck from there, and a lot of people didn't even know my name was Michael growing up, but um, in the soccer, soccer arena, but yeah. Let's talk about a few uh, little rituals or habits or OCD type things you might have um, with your your gear in the in the room. Are you, let's just get to it. Are you OCD a little bit? I just like things in order, Dean. I wouldn't say OCD. This is my roomie's Michael Beechamp. It's all his belongings. As you can see, he likes to have it in a nice, neat order. So we're just going to mix things up a little bit. Hey, Yama. Hey, Yama. Where you been? I'm just uh, gonna have a coffee with Jay and that. Mm, fair enough. You touch my shoes? No, what? Sure. I haven't touched your shoes, mate. What are you, what are you doing there? This isn't a music. Music? <laughs> what, what are some of you know the best moments we've probably shared together um, on the pitch over the years at our different clubs? The biggest one for me, between for us two, was um, after the Pokal uh, Cup when we won that and uh, we stepped off the plane in Nuremberg and jumped on the back of the Audi, in the back of the Audi. And um, went from there into the city with the streets just full of supporters up onto the main stage there. And, um, you know, that, that for me was a big, big moment. Yeah, that was crazy. Definitely. Yeah. So up on the stage and uh, chanting the, the songs and that together was pretty cool. And how was it for you to um, line up against the likes of Manchester United, Celtic and who was the last team? The other team in ours was Villarreal. All in the Champions League when you're at Denmark, right? Yeah, Alborg in Denmark. Um, went across there. Unfortunately, it wasn't the the best competition for me. Celtic, I, I started against and played well against them. And um, the last ten minutes, our other central defender made a foul. The ref didn't see who made the foul, and um, unfortunately, set me off instead. He actually asked me who who else was the other player. I said, I'm not going to tell you who the other player is if you didn't see it. You didn't dob. Didn't dob, didn't dob, so I got sent off that game, but um, that got revoked and had the opportunity to play against the likes of Rooney, um, uh, Cristiano, Ryan Giggs was in there, so some massive players in uh, Manchester United's team, but uh, another story with that, unfortunately I did my hammy pretty bad uh, in about the 30th minute and um, that was it, I, I missed out on the Villarreal game, I didn't get to play at Old Trafford either, so... That was a little bit disappointing, but um, following that, we, we moved into the, the uh, UEFA Cup and had the opportunity to play against Manchester City. So I played at their home ground and um, did well, and then our team itself, we played them at our home ground and took them to penalties to, to get through to the next stage. Unfortunately, lost on penalties, but um, as a small Danish club, it was a massive achievement to get that far, and um, yeah, some good memories there.